Welcome back, everyone, to Elden Ring and side quest and such. We crossed the bridge. There's so many directions we can go. And death awaits in everyone. Welcome back. So, of the many directions, we kind of have... It's like left, straight, or to the right. And it seems like there's a lot more potentially off to the right. I've marked a couple of sort of just general directions that I can sort of see us heading. Let's first go down this way. This is what we could see from across the way before, and I'm curious. And then we can kind of try, I don't know, we'll play it by ear from there, but I think we're uh, heading this way generally. I also think everybody has respawned back here, so we're just going to scoot and hope that no one notices. I think we got away with it. Hmm. Nope. Dog, I thought... I thought... We were just gonna... Live and let live. <sighs> I tried. You guys don't have anything that I'm interested in, like, stealing, right? I'm just bypassing you and your nonsense. Well... Do you? You know what? Better safe than sorry. I think I better dismount, though. Feels more reckless fighting them. Yikes. Mounted up for whatever reason. Just barely missed you. There we go. And hey, I don't need another talisman in order to cast this now. That's awesome. There we go. It costs so little FP. I love it. Yeah, so the loadout that I have settled on for the time being, talismans wise, uh, got this back on, still using this, and still using this, especially with this hammer that uh, thrives on the guard counter. Seems like leaning into that is the way to go. For now. We'll see what we find, though. There's neat toys all over the place, seems like, to me. Hi, fire dog. Seems like we got a situation over here. Don't mind me. Yeah, who's fighting? I definitely don't want to wind up in the middle of that, but I am curious. And this is how I would go, I think, further... Well... No, if I want to go further up, I need to go further back. That's fine. Uh... First of all, what's down this way? Gotta be thorough. Another little tiny camp. Taking this. Ooh, a spread crossbow. I don't know if I have any interest in using it, but... Thanks for the toy. Enjoy this. A feisty bunch. I really, really, really love that Elden Ring added both, like, 
crouch sneaking and stealth attacks. I guess they had backstabs before, but the sneak makes it feel more like you can actually stealth sneak around. And that's such a nice addition to Souls play, especially in an open world. Also, having a jump button. It's easy to take that for granted now, but boy, am I glad we just have a jump button now. Big improvement. Okay, so it's the Fire Knights fighting... Question mark. Fighting and losing, and that's fine by me, but who... What are you? Whatever you are, I'm rooting for you. Please remember this later when you're not distracted by that guy anymore. Yeah, go team, you guys. Boo, Mesmer. Secret truce? I'll take that as a yes. I don't know who they are, or even what they are. But we're teammates now. Anything else out here before I go through the scary door? Ooh. Ah, a poison swamp. Be still my heart. All right. Well, this looks like a mine, sort of. Not anymore. Ruined forge, lava intake. Ooh. Nifty. I like that these little mini dungeons and such aren't just more... Like, the mini dungeons we would find out in the open world in the base game fell into a few, like, categories, right? There were caves, there were mines, there were catacombs, and I think that was mostly it. A few other random things probably interspersed throughout there. I like that what we've been finding so far are quite differently themed. Hello. By grace, if e'er I see another rock, I shall find it. Of this I have no doubt. The altar of the forge cannot be far. Huh. Whoa. Big. Very big. Lava still doesn't hurt, right? Or only hurts a little bit. This looks different. Hit them where they're weakest. Oh, it's like a developer message. They look different now. I like that. Hit them where they're weakest. Okay. Um... Oh, I see. We've got big golems. And we need to hit them in the back where they're weakest. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, hi. You're a daunting one. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Okay, so like... If I hit you from the front, yeah, like... You're pretty resistant. If I can get behind you... More damage, but... 
Still not easily done. I wonder. Since the discus goes behind and then comes back. Yeah, it's a little more effective on the return. A little. This is not ideal. By any means. Okay. Well. Guess we're going in this direction now. Yeah. Ha! Your room is my room now. This is all mine. This is mine. Mine. Hey, stay out of my room. Leave. Hmm. What sort of stuff otherwise are you also going to be weakest to? Like, can't backstab you, seems like. Not fire. Probably not. What? Fire slime. Very cool looking, but not a good time. You could have chosen a better time. Ow. Boy, you sure do fill up the whole doorway. Finally. Goodness. They don't joke around. Sneaking up on that first one didn't really work out the way I hoped it was gonna. I hope any others I find are more sneak upable. A lot of goodies down here, though. Hmm. Yeah, I really do love the theming down here. There's another one. E. Just the one, though, hopefully. Maybe a little slime as well, but that's fine. Ooh, gas stone. I will read that later. Not safe yet. Reading is for people with dead enemies. Some jumping to get over there. Ooh. I think we're safe up here for the moment. Uh, hefty volcano pots with for lava, I assume. And these are blocks of stone infused with hot gas found in the ruined forges. Perhaps these were once used as fuel for the smithing process. And also this crossbow, a modified crossbow made by combining two crossbows into one. <laughs> Capable of loading multiple bolts and firing them simultaneously, enabling a spread of fire. That's fun. Hmm. 
So, okay, can I sneak up on this one? Okay, not really. Yes, thank you, Lava Goo. Eh. I feel like there's got to be some even better, better trick for, uh, taking them out faster, like either hitting them with like an arrow from uh, a distance exactly in that spot, maybe. I should try that. Maybe maybe I'll um, next opportunity dig out the jar cannon or something. Or my what's that other enormous ranged weapon uh, that I used back in the day? Hand ballista. That's the one. But that still works. If I can get a good angle. I bet if these land right on you, that hurts real bad. Mm, boing. Very good. Might as well. There we go. I don't know if I can get an angle on that one. I'd really like to, though. If he'll just stay there... Uh, I can't jump back up there. Okay. I see you. Okay. That's fine. And another one. Oh boy. One at a time. If I can sneak... A lot of goodies in here. And then... Aim. Will it work? Not really. Worth a try, though. Whoa. I see. Okay, okay, okay. If we can stagger them, then we can set up for that. Okay. There we go. Okay, okay. I get it now. That's not so bad. Just takes a little time whittling them down. This one seems a little smaller. Maybe it's a little easier? Okay, I can't sneak attack him. I don't think it is smaller. I think it was just sitting down. Enjoy this. Ow. Yeah, I gotta be careful with those guard counters. Be sure it's actually safe.
There we go. Dunzo! What was that other one standing in front of? Ooh! More rocks. Many more rocks. This place is very good for the upgrade stones, if you still need them. Which I don't that desperately need them anymore, but... Never hurts having more and not having to spend a whole bunch of uh, runes to get them from the store. What are you swatting the ground for? Reckless. Not sure if I'll go to all the trouble of fighting you. Might just take things like that. That was easy. Okay, look out. There we go. Already wearing you down, I guess I might as well go ahead and finish the fight. Just takes a couple of guard counters to stagger you, and that'll do it. Beautiful. Okay. Ladder? Ladder. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I see the devs have decided to take our mockery of their lava personally. Probably better do a little something... about fire resistance, at least. Now I wish I hadn't removed Blessing's Boon from my spell list, because a little regen would be a bit handy in this trying time. Actually, hang on. That'll also help. So if we combine these two effects, and then jump in the lava... Yeah, that does feel like it works a little different to me. I guess this lava is hotter. Oh, joy. Like, I'm guessing you can't just keep jumping. No, no. No, no, no. Hmm. I think I might have to come back later with a better idea. Unless I can think of some other direction to go here. I'm not even sure that's the way to go. 
because I think this is the same lava pit. I'm not seeing like an opening or a door down here. There's the uh, spot at the bottom with the ladder. Yeah, I think that spot down there might just be a sort of, hey, if you fell in, maybe you can live long enough to get there and get out. We'll give you the chance. But yeah, that does not seem like, like, walking through the lava does not seem like a route forward. I, I would try it if I could even see, like, a potential destination once down there, but I'm not really seeing anything that looks like a route to take. If anything, it looks like I need to try to get up on top of that thing. Huh. Let's go look some more. Did I go this way? I don't know if I did. Maybe. I don't think so, though. I don't, I don't. I think I like came over here to go jumping across there, but I don't think I went this other way. Let's investigate. Oh yeah, no. Um, whatever this is seems better and smarter. Oh, yes. This is very preferable. Yeah. Okay. Now... I don't know that I can... jump that far. I could try jumping onto that from one of the little ledge things up there, but that's, I guess, even scarier. At least trying from here, I can probably survive if I miss and land in the lava. Let's try this first. Jump! Poof, okay. We're okay. Don't love that. Get that nonsense out of here. Goo. Yep, a little early, but... Got the job done. So I can jump down that away. But this is the entrance. And this is probably where I'm actually headed. Um. Examine altar. Anvil hammer. And an ancient dragon smithing stone. That's lovely. Oh, not even like a boss in here. It's just reach the anvil. Cool. That's a relief. I'm very low on healing items. Hooray! Hang on, let's let's look at that hammer real quick. 
One of the treasures of the ruined forges, a tremendous hammer that incorporates as its head the red-hot anvil of the forge. It is said that the anvil's shape is inspired by that of an altar, and that long ago it was indeed used as such in rite and ritual. Smithing art spears slam the red-hot anvil into the ground, sending up countless spears as it's pulled out. The spears disappear instantly. We should get a look at that. And also, smith script dagger. A dagger engraved with a smith script. Reduced mass enhances the effects of the smithing arts, allowing this weapon to function as a throwing dagger for all attacks. Huh. Once thrown, the dagger instantly reappears in the wielder's hand. Okay, that's very cool. We need to see how these look and work somewhat immediately. Let's get outside. Okay. Guess we'll look from in here. Uh, first of all, the dagger, which is definitely a dex weapon, so not for me, but doesn't mean we can't. Have a look. Oh, yeah. Just a weapon that is all throwing. I am loving their new weapon types. Nope, oh, nope, not that one. Ah, it's cool. What happens if two handing? Yep. So cool. Big fan. Next. Uh suppose we didn't look at the Horned Warrior's sword a while ago, this curved weapon. Oh, no, wait. Maybe we did. It's very cool. Also very cool. But yeah, not really for my build, I don't think. What about... Anvil. This looks my build. And that special? Oh my. That is pretty cool. Might have to try it later. But we're getting new cool toys at an alarming rate, so I feel like I'm going to be saying that somewhat frequently. Let's see also how this weird little thing fires. Oh, nice. Yeah, just a little shotgun blast. That's cool. But all right. Hammer and claws. Now let's get back on the road. Because we've seen this now. We should look down in this little crevice here. Might not be anything, but it's conspicuous. You guys keep beating him up. You're doing great. So, around this way, and a little more... Well, yeah, a little more down here. Okay, here we go. Oh. Now this is going somewhere, and more than I expected. Hello. You guys are real sneaky in the dark. I thought we were allies.
Come on. Friends. What even are you? Don't approve of that. Okay. Have some of this. It do work. Yeah. Poorly timed moment. Have some of these. They do work. No to you. It's too dark to be fighting. What are you, anyway? One of you drops some ID. Sacred bloody flesh. I guess it'll have to do. Boosts physical attack power and arcane once. Attack power boosted further when blood loss occurs. Ooh. Raw meat soaked with blood, a delicacy of the blood fiends. Temporarily boosts... Yeah, uh, the blood is said to have fallen from the formless mother's wound. Never will it dry, never will it rot. These are blood fiends, I guess? Hooray! And I think I found the poison swamp, so double hooray. Lots to be excited and happy about. Now. Goody. Yeah, no, now I can see this is just leading underneath and kind of onward. Which is not quite what I planned, but... Let's see what we can find. Torrent, you're still cool and chill with, um... Yeah, great. Great and good. Glad you can still... run me through the poison swamps. Oh, hey, they got rats here. Just like home. And just like home, they always have more HP than I expect. There we go. Wonder if I can get a better view of these craggy mountains down here. Could... Rat? Okay, not a rat, just some squirrels. That does look interesting. Hmm. Festive Greece. What on earth? That is a description I want to read just as soon as I feel a little more secure. And less prone to sneak attacks. Well, this isn't so bad at all. As from soft poison swamps go. I guess that lake of rot does set a pretty high bar. Oh. That's new. Have we seen a boar in a FromSoft game as an enemy since Dark Souls 1? I don't know if we have. I do see a crab, though. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm going to keep going down this spoke a little ways. I don't know if this is exactly where I want to be... Like... Heading first overall, but... Hey, 
Okay, nice. But we are finding goodies, and we might find more crosses, which will make us stronger, so I guess exploring this overworld and kind of mapping it out is worth the effort. Even if we're bouncing around a little bit. And I suspect that, um... If we do start wandering too far in any one direction and the game thinks that we're not quite ready for that, it will let us know. I have found the Spirit Spring. And here I thought it was going to be hard to spot. Um. Hold on. I say. I say. Huh. But, let's read that note again. Should you chance upon a sealed spirit spring, look for stacked stones nearby. By toppling them, you may break the seal, but we gotta figure out how to topple them. Torrent, are you able, like maybe just in jumping on them? How'd you topple them? They're ghosts. This was not the part of the process I expected to get stumped by. Huh. Well. I guess I better mark that on the map, unless it's, it's so automatic. We're, we're off the grid, of course. But yeah, I guess I better mark it on the map to remember later. Destruction required. I mean, yeah, but... Huh. Maybe we'll just... Here, that. I feel like an idea for what to do to that is going to hit me, like, blindside me in the middle of something else. <laughs> Before long. Elder's Hovel. Ooh. Okay, we, we got several things to read here. Hang on. Talisman of the Dread. Depicting the dread dragon of the jagged peak, whose roars cause the peak's molten fury to boil and churn. Raises potency of magma. Bale, or Bailey, I guess. Your pick was the foul dragon's name, a terrible harbinger of destruction whose challenge to the ancient dragon lord ended in grievous mutual injury. Neat. Um, This. Now we can make hefty poison pots if we want, and a large moss animal glutted with poison. Gross. Round and plump like a darling infant. Oh yeah, so cute. It has its mother's eyes, I guess. Festive grease. Solidified knot grease made from a mixture of bone shards. Coats armament imparting a festive incantation that grants the wielder a scant few runes on landing attacks. The effect lasts only for a short time. The delightful festival is an old tradition, one old enough for the Erd Tree to tacitly tolerate its endurance. Huh. That's neat little detail. Also neat little find. Weird. So, um... O oh, Bale, Tyrant Drake, do your wounds yet ache? Is your fury still yet to crest its zenith? Hurry, hurry, and lay it all to waste. Lay waste to the proud, the conceited, each, every one of that arrogant lot. That dragon's still around, I guess, and a problem for future me. Good times. Good things to look forward to dying to. Well, anyway, I guess this is as good a spot as I need to call it. I will see you all tomorrow for some more Elden Ring, the DLC, the Shadow of the Erd Tree. All those things. Take care, everyone. Farewell.